while recent reports have claimed that Kendall Jenner and her supposed boyfriend Ben Simmons aren't exclusive, the reality star has certainly taken an interest in his work. Jenner, 23, was spotted courtside at Sunday's game between Simmons' NBA team, the Philadelphia 76ers, who took on the Memphis Grizzlies at Wells Fargo Fargo Center in Philadelphia. Just two days earlier, on Friday, Jenner was courtside as the 76ers took on the Washington Wizards in Philadelphia. Jenner was pictured wearing a three-tone blue Adidas fleece and black pants along with a pair of small hoop earrings. She was also seen holding a cup of coffee and smiling while she watched the game, which the 76ers won 103-95. While she appeared to be by herself at Sunday's game, on Friday's game she was seated next to Simmons' mother, Julie Simmons. Jenner and Simmons were first linked together back in May, when Page Six reported they have been seeing each other for a few weeks. Then in late September, after dating for four months, U.S. Weekly reported the couple had split, but Kendall was spotted watching one of his games last week. That game was against the Cleveland Cavaliers, the team Klo Kardashian's boyfriend Tristan Thompson plays for, where Kendall was jokingly spotted booing Tristan at the game. Klo took to Twitter to defend her sister, where she seemingly revealed that they're still together, despite previous reports. My sister was watching her man play against my man, so of course she's going to heckle the opposing team, Klo said. Then on Friday, Jenner was seated at the 76ers game next to Simmons' mother, with people reporting that she was photographed laughing and smiling with Julie. After Kendall was spotted at the game last week, it was reported that Jenner and Simmons aren't exclusive, but just having fun and hooking up. That was before Jenner was seen seated next to Simmons' mother, which could mean things are getting more serious. Kendall also appeared on the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, which was taped a few weeks ago and aired Sunday night on ABC.